Now, I've seen some stores heard the clicker. Click, click, click. I went one store and I was like, I don't know what that bitch counting. Because it ain't people. Because this damn show looking like Six Flags in 1992. <laughs> So please be sure to like, share, and subscribe because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. And if you are not already a part of our Patreon book club, please hit the link below to be privy to all the shenanigans before YouTube gets it, if YouTube gets it. Now, let's do a simple get ready with me about how we can probably open up a couple of these businesses. So the first thing I want to talk about is like they said that they had opened up a restaurant and there were a couple of cases that came out of the restaurant. So what I believe in regards to restaurants, the simple, it's, well, it could be simple, but then it won't be because I suggested this to another business owner and they was being real cheap about the mass part, but let me expound. So the way that I was thinking is one, you must take out like every, like at least half of the seating in every restaurant, at least half. So then that way each person that comes in, that sits down, um, is six foot or seven foot or 10 foot away from, or 10 feet, my bad, away from the next um, table. If they're cooking the food, then they should have on gloves. Because I don't want nobody bare hands touching my damn food. Main thing is that I feel will work. And I'm going to be wrong. Is that every establishment, every restaurant, every store, um, depending on how big it is, because if you're like a big retail store like Macy's or something like that, then you should um, close a lot of the entrances and then that way you could control the volume. Now, I've seen some stores heard the clicker. Click, click, click. I went one store and I was like, I don't know what that bitch counting. Because it ain't people. Because this damn show looking like Six Flags in 1992 uh, inside this motherfucker. Or Mother Hunchy, okay? I don't know. That bitch must be drunk up front with the clicker. Because there's way too many people in here. For me. The person that is up front, or the two people, depending on what size the store is, should have um, hand sanitizer. When you walk through the door, you have to go through a station. The station is, and in order to control that, you gotta control the entrances. Uh, closing doors so that only one person can come through, okay? Close. It should only be that person who is doing the shopping coming through the door. Don't bring Lisa, okay? Don't bring Sherry. Don't bring, uh, uh, uh. now if Sherry's shopping, then yeah, bitch, you can come through the door, okay? But if you just coming in there, you know, like the kids running around, you know, you don't really have no control of the kids unless you have a well-mannered kid. And I don't know too many that'll sit still and do what they're supposed to do. Now, in some situations you just can't control, okay? You just really just can't. But for the most part, there should only be that person, that one person that is shopping. You don't need two or three people to come with you. You know, you're not coming to fight, you're coming to shop. Station, you should be offered a mask. I don't give a fuck if you come through the door with your own mask on. I don't know that mask. You could have, that dog could have been, your dog could have licked that mask as far as I'm concerned. I don't know that motherfucker. You could put it back on when you leave, okay? But as of right now, you're going to use this mask right here, okay? You don't like it, you don't have to shop here. Toodles. We in dire straits right now. I know I'm sounding like a bitch, but I mean, the fact of the matter is y'all need to come up off that bullshit. We've been wrong for in the first place for knowing that, you know, certain places was nasty and still patron, patronizing them. But if you know a place that is nasty, you need to put it on some kind of, you know, form or something and say, hey, look, I've been to this place. The area was nasty. Uh, Red Lobster, I love you, but y'all need to do something with every time I come through that door. That shit smell like dirty mop water. These are not the times for y'all to be selling lobsters. And when you come through the door, it smell like dirty mop water. You all need to take better pride in your um, 
you know, restaurant. I don't understand that. I know it's going to smell like fish because, uh, you know, y'all sell fish. But there's no reason for that shit to smell like dirty mop water all the time. And it could be y'all saying that maybe um, because, you know, the bathrooms be at the door. Why the fuck do your bathroom smell like dirty mop water? Take better care of your facility. When a person come through, they want to smell Clorox, not a sour sock. Because you got to think of it like this. If the food preparer is covered from head to toe, if they're sick, then they can't, you know, put that into the food. Call them out. Uh, I went to Red Lobster the other day. And, and, and don't be patty in regards to the waitress. Fuck the waitress. As long as the bitch is covered, okay, and handed me my food with some gloves on, okay, I don't care. You know, these owners are so greedy, they want to keep the money in their pocket that they are hiring people that um, probably don't care about whether or not you live or die. Probably don't care whether they live or die, okay? Don't be hiring Grady from K2 Park, okay? Or Needle Park, or wherever park. You know what I'm saying, Zombie Park. You need to take some pride. Like, it's a place down, oh my God, they gonna kill me. They gonna kill me, but it was a place downtown and all they hired was the homeless people that lived over in a park right across from the restaurant. Good restaurant, good food, good and everything. But you know that it was all homeless people serving you there. You know, I don't know the name of it. If you people from Washington, D.C. or the DMV and you know what, which, which place I'm talking about, blink twice. Because you know that place is a stellar place. But God damn it, I don't want to see a homeless person giving me my motherfucking food. It's a small area, like a gas station. There should be a hand wipe or sanitation station right there as soon as you come through the door. Okay, it should be monitored to make sure, oh, excuse me, hey, don't forget to add, add, add your hands, you know, okay. If they want to come in, they must use a mask. Since they're going to be in there in a short time, you can bring your own stanky danky mask, okay. I don't care what it is, but don't be hacking and coughing. You start hacking and coughing, you immediately get the fuck out. Well, I can't say that because I got allergies and I hack and cough all the time. But we do not leave out the house, period, without um, this is Pat McGrath, y'all. But we do not leave out the house, period, without our bag of paper towels and Clorox water. Okay? At all. At all. We put our masks on. Clorox water. We don't go nowhere but to the grocery store right now. So as we get to the grocery store, we pull out one of our Clorox wipes, wipe down the handle. We never touch anything with our hands if possible. Never. I bump the door open or we'll take like a plastic bag or something and um, turn the knob so that we're, ne we're not really touching. We don't touch nothing unless we want it. Okay, and it may be few times that I may, you know, pick it up and look at it because sometimes the meat be looking all crazy and you got to be like, wait a minute, what the hell is going on with this meat, you know, and then you'll put it down and be like, oh, they trying to throw me in a trick bag with this gray ass meat. Before we get back in the car with the groceries, we wipe our hands again with the Clorox wipes because we don't want, if we did have some kind of interaction in the, um, store we don't want to bring that in the car and touch any of the services in the car we get in the car okay we got a mask on okay and i'm telling you now suiting up every day to go outside that shit that i, I ain't i ain't pressed to go outside because it's like i gotta put on a whole new goddamn superhero outfit to go outside okay. and then as soon as we get in the house this is what my wife had me to do i'd be ready to kill her wash my hands okay then um I wash my hands, take my mask off, put it up, wash my hands again. Nigga, I gotta wash my hands again. She don't play. No touching the eyes, nothing. She don't care if I got uh, allergies. She don't care. Don't touch your face. The T-zone, don't touch it. We take more Clorox wipes and wipes down all the groceries. Cabinets be smelling like Clorox now. You don't wanna kill yourself, okay? Fuck around and get asthma. 
from Clorox. All right. All right, love bugs. If you have not already done so, please remember to like, share, and subscribe because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this the same people that you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down. They say, as my patron loves, have a good one.